Hi and welcome to this last bit of the YouTube Religious Identity Challenge analysis. This time I'm going to look at everything versus everything. I've left out religious identity as that has already been analyzed. A quick reminder, H0 is the hypothesis that the probability of being in row i and column j is the probability of row i times the probability of column j, that is independence while well, edge 1 is everything else. For more see the previous um, clips. I'm left with 32 different questions to be compared one against the other, so there's almost 500 tests, 496. I need robustness, and that means the chi-square test, a frequentist test, which is not to my liking, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. The test rejects when the probability of getting so anything so extreme and the edge 0 is below 0.01%. Here's a table showing all dependencies found, sorted by the strength of the dependencies. I'm sure you can't read this, though you can read it in the PDF on the, in the description box. Still, I'm going to organize it this a little better by going at the... Uh, most dependent questions and working my way upwards. Something is striking about those most uh, dependent uh, categories. Uh, much of them can be grouped into uh, the following figure. So we have stance towards masturbation, creationism, life after death, stem cells, age of earth, and evolution, and they have strong dependencies between them, um, radiating out from stones towards masturbation, it seems. So I'm sure it's not the final cause of the dependency. So we can take a quick look at masturbation stones versus edge of earth stones. And we see that uh, those with uh, the scientific uh, edge of earth um, do consider a masturbation to be fun and healthy more often than would be assumed on the edge zero, while the other categories tend to see masturbation as bad behavior or immature behavior. We also can look at creationism versus life after death belief, and what we see is that people who answer no to creationism answers no to life after death and people answering yes to creationism answers yes to life after death well that's the tendency anyhow note that there are people who say yes to creationism and no to life after death the belief questions are a bit, bit weird sometimes and uh, maybe people just filled out things too quickly back to the graph there are other uh, very strong connections, but I didn't think they was that interesting and they're kind of a sideshow. For instance, judge concerns versus fear of judgment. The judge concerns is just a more detailed uh, look at the fear of judgment. And then there's the age group, which is connected to speaking with parents and education, and education is connected to education of parents. An age group is connected to kids, for instance, so it's not that interesting. Uh, for instance, it shows that young people say they want kids in the future, while older pe people say they either have kids or they don't. So no big surprise there. So I'm going to remove them from the graph for now, though some of them can appear later. As you can see, um, there is connection between creationism and life after death and creationism and stands towards masturbation but uh, usually that should mean that there is a connection between life after death belief and stands towards masturbation too and there is they're just a little bit weaker but as you can see there are connections dependencies between all these six categories as we look at slightly weaker uh, connections uh, the Big Bang questions comes into the graph between evolution and big, uh, big Bang. Again, no big surprises. People who don't believe in evolution say they also don't believe in the Big Bang. Back to the graph. Uh, people who 
believe in the Big Bang also have a positive stance towards stem cell research and a positive stance towards masturbation while those who don't have a more negative view on those two issues. Big Bang proponents also are tend to be a, a biogenesis proponents. Those that are negative to the Big Bang are negative to a biogenesis too. Going towards slightly weaker dependencies again, um, friends gender versus the religion of friends appears as a separate issue and we can take a closer look at that. And it appears that um, people with all male or all female friends tend to have all friends in the same religion as themselves. Back to the graph, another more an interesting uh, thing appears, namely supernatural experience versus telling about supernatural experiences. And that's a bit of a glitch in the um, questioning, I think. Next up, reincarnation is connected to life after death belief. Mm, reasonable. And on the sideline, switching of religion is connected to religious upbringing. Religious upbringing was again connected to religious identity and religious identity was connected to several other categories in the main graph, but these connections were uh, kind of weak sometimes, so it's not that strange that we have some disconnection here. Next up, sexual orientation versus educational parents. And as you remember, educational parents were linked to education again. Gender appears linked more, more strongly to life after death belief. Females having a more frequent belief in life after death than males. Then there is supernatural experience, which is found to be connected to the belief in reincarnation and in life after death. So far, abiogenesis has only been connected to life after death belief, or lack of such, and uh, Big Bang belief but it's also connected to the issue about the edge of the earth. A separate graph appears, uh, those who own videos versus those with religious views in their videos, but that may again be a glitch. Abiogenesis is also connected to stance towards masturbation and to having videos with religious contents negative or positive. And we can take a quick look at that a biogenesis. Those that do not have videos about religion are less likely to believe in a bio biogenesis than people who do. The probability for there being a dependency uh, is still high, but uh, it's not that extreme connection which was found for earlier uh, dependencies. Back to the graph, uh, friend's gender seems to be connected to the stance towards masturbation and to the religion of friends as earlier. Country up here, uh, connected to the switching of religion. People from the US seems more likely to have switched religion than uh, the other nations. That may be because uh, the study is filled with atheists and uh, Atheism is more rare in the US than in other countries, possibly. Gender is also seem to be connected to belief in the Big Bang, in that males are more likely than females to believe in the Big Bang. And, well, of course, creationism and abiogenesis belief is negatively connected. Gender seems also to be connected to reincarnation in that females are more likely to believe in reincarnation than males. And there are some connections marked with red here to indicate that I can't do the exact test, so I'm a little bit uncertain about it. Speaking with parents is connected to education and to education is connected to friends' gender, it seems. And the religion of friends is again connected towards the stance towards masturbation. We're now into 
quite weak connections. Gender seems to be connected to a biogenesis, and r sexual orientation seems to be connected to belief in reincarnation, in that uh, bisexuals seem to be more likely to believe in reincarnation than others. It may be tempting to uh, look at this graph and uh, wonder about causal connection, which is it that causes which, but um, the data can't say anything about that, so that will be speculation.